Hello everyone. The name Sarah, and today, I talk about Halloween, which is only 15 days away. Halloween is a celebration observed in many countries on October 31st, the eve of the Western Christian Feast of All Saints Day. It begins the observance of All Tide, the time in the liturgical year dedicated to remembering the dead, including saints, hallows, martyrs, and all the faithful departed. One theory holds that many Halloween traditions were influenced by Celtic harvest festivals, particularly the Gaelic festival Samhain, which are believed to have pagan roots. 1. Halloween is thought to have influences from Christian beliefs and practices. The English word Halloween comes from All Allows Eve, being the evening before the Christian holy days of All Allows Day on November 1st and All Souls Day on November 2nd. Since the time of the early church, major feasts in Christianity, such as Christmas, Easter and Pentecost, had vigils that began the night before, as did the Feast of All Hallows. These three days are collectively called El Hallowtide and are a time when Western Christians honor all saints. By the end of the 12th century, the celebration had become known as the Holy Days of Obligation in Western Christianity and involved such traditions as ringing church bells for souls in purgatory. It was also customary for choirs dressed in black to parade the streets, ringing a bell of mournful sound and calling on all good Christians to remember the poor souls. The All Hallow Tide custom of baking and sharing soul cakes for all Christian souls has been suggested as the origin of trick or treating. Christian minister Prince Soikanta linked the wearing of costumes to the belief in vengeful ghosts. It was traditionally believed that the souls of the departed wandered the earth until All Saints Day, and All Allows Eve provided one last chance for the dead to gain vengeance on their enemies before moving to the next world. In order to avoid being recognized by any soul that might be seeking such vengeance, people would don masks or costumes. The dance macabre was sometimes enacted in European village pageants and court masks, with people dressing up as corpses from various strata. In Britain, these customs came under attack during the Reformation, as Protestants berated purgatory as a popish doctrine incompatible with the Calvinist doctrine of predestination. State-sanctioned ceremonies associated with the intercession of saints and prayer for souls in purgatory were abolished during the Elizabethan reform, though All Hallows Day remained in the English liturgical calendar to commemorate saints as godly human beings. Leslie Bannatyne and Cindy Ott write that Anglican colonists in the southern United States and Catholic colonists in Maryland recognized All Hallows Eve in their church calendars, although the Puritans of New England strongly opposed the holiday, along with other traditional celebrations of the established church, including Christmas. All the maths of the late 18th and early 19th century give no indication that Halloween was widely celebrated in North America. Development of artifacts and symbols associated with Halloween formed over time. Jack-o'-lanterns are traditionally carried by geysers on All Hallows Eve in order to frighten evil spirits. There is a popular Irish Christian folktale associated with the jack-o'-lantern, which in folklore is said to represent a soul who has been denied entry into both heaven and hell. Trick or treating is a customary celebration for children on Halloween. Children go in costume from house to house, asking for treats such as candy or sometimes money, with the question, trick or treat? The word trick implies a threat to perform mischief on the homeowners or their property if no treat is given. The practice is said to have roots in the medieval practice of mumming, which is closely related to sowing. John Pym wrote that many of the feast days associated with the presentation of mumming plays were celebrated by the Christian Church. In England, from the medieval period, up until the 1930s, people practiced the Christian custom of sowing on Halloween, which involved groups of sellers, both Protestant and Catholic, going from parish to parish, begging the rich for soul cakes in exchange for praying for the souls of the givers and their friends. In the Philippines, the practice of selling is called Pangangalulu and is practiced on all allos even among children in rural areas. People drape themselves in white cloth to represent souls and then visit houses, where they sing in return for prayers and sweets. Halloween costumes were traditionally modeled after figures such as vampires, ghosts, skeletons, scary-looking witches, and devils. Over time, the costume selection extended to include popular characters from fiction, celebrities, and generic archetypes such as ninjas and princesses. Dressing up in costumes and going guising was prevalent in Scotland and Ireland at Halloween by the late 19th century. 
a Scottish term, the tradition is called rising because of the disguises or costumes worn by the children. On All Hallows' Eve, many Western Christian denominations encourage abstinence from meat, giving rise to a variety of vegetarian foods associated with this day. Because in the Northern Hemisphere Halloween comes in the wake of the yearly apple harvest, candy apples, known as toffee apples outside North America, caramel apples or taffy apples are common Halloween treats made by rolling whole apples in a sticky sugar syrup, sometimes followed by rolling them in nuts. On Halloween, All Hallows' Eve, in Poland, believers were once taught to pray out loud as they walked through the forest in order that the souls of the dead might find comfort. In Spain, Christian priests in tiny villages toll their church bells in order to remind their congregants to remember the dead on All Hallows' Eve. In Ireland, and among immigrants in Canada, a custom includes the Christian practice of abstinence, keeping All Hallows' Eve as a meat-free day and serving pancakes or call cannon instead. Well, that's all the time I have for you today. I hope we will see each other soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and comment. Stay tuned for more content like this. Bye for now.